Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. I have so many pretty reddy, pinky, gold, lots of different beautiful images from Prima Marketing, Candy Cane Lane mainly, but I have definitely mixed some of the other collections as well because that's what I'm really used to doing. I love being creative. I love using different textures. I love being able to see many colors come together. So I have been so happy creating so many different things. And this video is a project share where you might get some ideas on how to package some of the beautiful things that you get to make. So I have many different ways that I have utilized all of the embellishments that I have made and I'm super excited to share them with you all. Remember what I said this year 2023 I will be crafting in any season whenever I feel like and Christmas is the season I felt like I was excited to craft away with. So let me show you briefly all of the things that I have here. There's one thing that I'm going to show you in another video, which is the junk journal that I have made. And I have had so much fun with that also. So please make sure you guys come back to watch that one as well. So let me move this box out of the way and I'll grab one thing at a time and show you. So I have previously shared with you guys some heart popsicle that I have made. This one, I have used the Candy Cane Lane heart-shaped rosette that was made for me by Aisha and Cypress. And I have compiled different glitterific hearts in different sizes and my die cut of the larger size heart and also added some bows together. And this is how I packaged it. I just recycled a clear bag. I added some beautiful sequin mix that my friend Michelle made for me. And it just looks so nice. Now you can give things like this as is, but I have made this beautiful uh, paper straw embellishment flag. And I love the fact that I was utilizing the gold bit, this gold decorative corner bits. I just thought that the 25 in gold foil had to have some extra bit of gold and I realized I could actually utilize the um, book corners. So this is one of the embellishment I have made. So I will be adding some foam tape at the back of this and then attaching it like this and gifting this in the future. So that's one item. Another one is this one here. I have put it in a clear bag. I have decorated the clear bag with a pink doily and I added this uh, embellishment layered piece that I have made. And it says, and a merry ho 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 to you. They're both lovely friends together. And so inside of this is another way to gift some of the uh, ephemera pieces or word uh, sentiments and things. So what I did is I punched a hole there, added a star bread, and I also sandwiched the, um, what do you call this, seam binding. I love this pink color seam binding. And then when you open it up, it's like this, you guys. So all it was, it was just some large piece of paper and I scored here and here. But before I scored, what I did was I kind of eyeballed where I want my clear pocket to be. Now this clear pocket has been gifted to me by Lou David over there in USA. And you guys use this for school time, I believe. And also some people use this clear pocket for making simple fast shakers. And I thank you guys um, so much for all of the inspiration that you guys give me through YouTube and Instagram. So this one, it opens up like this, you guys. See how I have scored there and there to give it that little bit of the 3D. And then I, this is like from the 12 by 12 of the Candy Cane Lane and it had this large cut apart piece. I corner rounded the bottom and then I added the Velcro to make a closure for this uh, clear pocket. And inside the clear pocket, I have added the word stitched words that I have die cut. And some of them are not uh, stitched, but have been paper pieced. It's got things like crafting, happy, love, and things in there, handmade. 
and I thought this was a really good way to gift and I think instead of adding the word pieces you can just easily add some journaling cards as well to gift or a sequin mix to gift as well so I think this is an idea that I am going to be using a lot in the future I really really love how it just folds like this and then the same binding you just put it around and then you push it through like that you just have to push it through and then it just holds it so I am going to put that in here like this and then I am going to now seal it since I have shared it with you guys I am just loving all of the colors so that's another way to package your goodies here is another simple way this was um, iridescent cellophane bag that was also gifted to me by Lou David a long time ago and I put the layered embellishment this is a heart shaped rosette in with the sequin mix I stitched it put another deer embellishment when as some different sequins in there and I closed it then I added this bag topper a really simple one and this is the die that I bought from AliExpress recently I will also have that AliExpress haul video down in my description area if you haven't seen what else I bought and I really really love this so much now another thing I have made I have been <laughs> crafting in many different ways and I this one I was inspired by someone and I have I have the name of that person on my phone so I will make sure to link her down in my description area she made something like this using doilies and I had a doily shaped large circle cut out for me by Letty and I will also have Letty's channel down below as well so you guys get to see you know go and visit all of my friends as well so this one i started off by uh, utilizing some mini envelopes and these mini envelope i also got from my recent aliexpress haul and then i added this bow now this bow and the previous bow comes in one set and i love that bow die set so much so I added some Candy Cane Lane ephemera piece here and I also used different stamp images from different collection. Here behind there is some more gold foiled ephemera piece and everything just came such a beautiful cluster all together. And this one I am not going to add any sequins in the bag because it's already got so many beautiful things to look at. And this is a lovely large holiday piece that I had and there was a large uh, deer there was a deer piece in a car it's a large car piece and I decided to give it a candy cane peppermint candy where there is a letter I to make it really interesting and to tie it all in with the candy cane lane collection this is an ephemera from the collection I use Prima marketing papers to cut out my mushroom which I also got from Aliexpress as well so I have those put those over there then another way to package up your beautiful embellishments that you've been making is an acetate sheet so you can measure the clear bag that you have and cut out an acetate sheet now this is a beautiful star acetate sheet I love this so so much and the reason why I like putting my embellishments on these is so that the future recipient can also utilize the acetate sheet for future crafting or for gifting and I love these shaker this is a pudding cake shaker that I've used the Prima marketing Christmas sparkle collection mainly and also this heart paper is from magic love I think and I combined them together and it's just so pretty so see how it says all the sparkles and this one says Merry Christmas there was a 12 by 12 sheet that was filled with these uh, banner words and I specifically put my die where the banner word piece word um, design was and then I cut around it and that's how these are I just love these so much I even fussy cut little bow to match the size of my potion bottle and I'm gonna just simply put it in here 
and seal my bag like this. And it's just such a pretty gift already. Another thing I have here to show you is this one here. I haven't sealed any of the bags, so I can show it to you guys before I package anything. This is a large coppery rose gold color paper clip. It's a large one and I made an embellishment flag and I have layered so many pieces and I also got to use the gold book corner part. I have so enjoyed utilizing these pieces. And the tiny bit of gold that shows behind the major uh, focal point, it just makes everything tie in together nicely. And then if you see this word, Merry Little Christmas, the foil banner piece here. Now, instead of adding it flat down, I raised it up a little to follow the shape. And to do that, all I did was add a bit of glue to this end glue that down and then raise up the paper a bit then also add the glue on the end of this part here and then position it where i want it to so you guys can see like that can you see can you see the raised banner word piece there and i also got to utilize these tiny gem pieces these tiny gem pieces i love them so so much you guys this is such a beautiful beautiful piece that I want to get some different colors of this because it comes in many different sizes. And this one was gifted to me by Love Letter Generation. So this is gonna go in here. Now I'm realizing if I seal all the bags on video, it's gonna take forever. So I'll just do that later. Then this one here, oh you guys, I have so loved doing this. Oh, you can see it like this without me taking it out. So this is a sweater piece. So these are the sweater felt pieces that were sent to me by Janet. And I will also have her channel down below as well. Now she was so kind and she sent me these uh, sweater pieces that she found at Target. And oh my gosh, I love the size. I love the design of it. And I um, decorated, well, I fashion designed my Christmas sweater in pink style. Also got to use some glitter Nouveau drop here. Glitter drops, I think they're called. And I added the stamp piece in the middle. Then I started layering Holy Jolly and my made up flower that's got the peppermint candy in the middle. And then there is another flower on the opposite side. On the other side, this is a candy cane lane one. I also utilize all of my gold star stickers in different sizes. Actually, I might have to take this one out so you guys can see it better. You see? I got to use some larger ones, little tiny ones, and I put them, scattered them all around the sweater. And I, this is my main focal point, the pretty deer with the mushroom. I really, really loved utilizing my mushroom that I have um, die cut. So that's that one. Then I am going to show you another way to store all of your embellishments. Now this is a tutorial I followed. Um, her name is Amy L. And she, I believe she was inspired by Christian's Crafty Adventures. And Amy L did a tutorial for her channel viewers and I, I saw her one first. So I am mentioning Amy L, but I'm definite that she was inspired by Christian Crafty Adventures. Now this is a lovely dangle that I have made. It's got the adorable Santa, the peppermint candy, some rhinestone beads, iridescent red and green. I also added some pink peppermint candy because I didn't have any uh, red and white one, but I thought the pink goes so nicely with the red anyway, the Christmassy color, and it matches that color there as well. I also added some acorn that Rebecca Creates uh, sent to me in my uh, recent, well, it's not recent anymore, last year's embellishment box challenge. Here is the candy cane I have added as well. So this is one of those beautiful bags that I've made, you guys. And the bottom part, I added this lovely 
silky candy cane and peppermint candy ribbon all around the back. And choosing the paper was pretty easy for this one because there was a really beautiful sweet deer on one corner of the large 12 by 12 paper. And so I wanted that deer to be the focal point. So I made sure I didn't cover the, um, the face. And I also utilized some bows that I made using the bow die set that I recently bought. I decorated the middle with the peppermint candy pieces that ties everything together with the theme. I just love it so much. And also, you guys, when you're making this bag, you really do not have to be um, sewing. But I really wanted to add the stitch details to make it a bit more special. And that's what I did. And this is the side where I put the eyelet to hang my dangle. So the dangle can easily come off. And this is my other side. It's, and look at this, you guys. It fits so many embellishment packs. This is the other side. I left it pretty simple by just adding the bows that I have layered. And I also made sure that you see the, the spotty um, foiled part, the gold foil part. I just love it so much. And my handle is very, very sturdy because I double layered it. Or well, actually I triple layered it. So it's very, very uh, sturdy. It's just so, so pretty, you guys. So this bag alone is such a wonderful way to share your handmade goodies or other goodies you might wanna share with your friends or pen pals. And also, this idea of me wanting to create this bag, the inspiration also came from Patty at Mummy and Me Crafts. She has been doing many different swaps. Um, she organizes so many group swaps, you guys. And I think recently, lately, she is currently hosting the Spring Swap. So maybe you guys should go and watch those as well if you're not already following her. But she is full of inspiration. And so when Patty said that she's hosting a spring swap, I thought, since I'm not in USA, I'm not able to join. But maybe I could create a bag that's kind of similar to her tote bag and fill it. And I think her tote bag tutorial that she wants her group members to uh, follow is also from Christian's Crafty Adventures. I love how all of these people share each other's ideas and utilize each other's crafty uh, minds. I love it so, so much. So in my bag, what, am, what have I got in here? Okay, let me just take them all out. I'm gonna take these all out. And this is the inside, you guys. And I used a glue gun to glue my rectangular base. And I also realized one thing that I could improve on next time is that when I'm using the glue gun, I need to make sure I glue the top part as well, not just the bottom bit. I concentrated on gluing the bottom bit that, so when I finished gluing it, you can see the, I don't know if you guys can tell, you might not. But you can sort of see the gap there. But I think the future recipient really, truly wouldn't mind. I absolutely love it. It's such a sturdy bag, you guys. I love it so, so much. Oh my gosh, so pretty. So what have I stuffed this bag with? Here is a Ho 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 sequin mix that I have made. I must say that I have mixed so many different kinds. I put some peppermint clay bits in there. I've added some iridescent green sequin mix that I have. I've also added some hot clay mixes in here as well. And it just becomes so pretty all together. You might not be able to see the exact color because I put it in this um, recycled iridescent bag. I just simply decorated it by um, utilizing the cut apart piece and I tore the bottom of it to make it interesting. So you can also see the sequin mix from the bottom. And then I glued on this uh, bow. Now this bow is from Vicky Wooten collection, I think. But anyway, that's going in the back. Here is a set of gold bows that I have made. Oh, you guys, I can make these bows over and over again. I love them so, so much, you guys. That die 
set that I got from AliExpress is exquisite. So this side has all of the pastel tone ones, pinky tone and holographic cardstock. This one has the gold tone. And I loved how I um, put it on the Candy Cane Lane paper. So the future recipient can utilize all of the packaging materials. So let me just put this back before I lose the bag. So that's going in here. So maybe I will just put them in here like this as I'm showing it. Here is a paper clip. It's a rounded paper clip and it's a smaller one than the previous large one I showed, but I love all of the layering I did. I've even used some clear foil stickers down here at the bottom of my gold mushroom. I love the gold mushroom. Originally when I bought it, I was kind of hoping that it was a bit bigger, but now I'm so thankful it's not any bigger because it's just so nice to use it with my ephemera pieces. Look at that, isn't that pretty? Love this sweet boy in the Candy Cane Lane collection. And then this is the other side. I use the pink paper clip, which also matches the paper so nicely. Oh my gosh, I love it so much. So that's going in this bag here. And then I'm gonna put it in nicely. Oops, okay. Oh, and I forgot to mention that I have been using the potion die set as well that I recently got and I turned them into shaker bits and then I was um, using them to layer in between my embellishment pieces as you can see. So that goes in there. This is another one that I absolutely love. Oh my gosh, I really, really love the size of these macarons. I used all of the papers from the Candy Cane Lane. I made sure that I utilized all of the gold foil parts of the paper. I have to take it out. Can you see that I've made sure that I utilize all of the gold foil bits? to make my special macarons. And these ones can become an embellishment base for the future recipient to add on more. And that's the other side of the paper. I love that so much as well. Here, oh, I love these two. I think these ones are utilized the uh, Christmas Sparkle collection as well as the Candy Cane Lane from Prima Marketing. These are my soda bottles. I love these soda bottles so much, as you guys can see. It's so, so pretty. I love all of the details. I added some stickles to the straw, used holographic cardstock for the straw as well. This is my peppermint candy down here. This is a shaker version that the future recipient can further decorate. And I really love the, the fact that I um, put it on the actual paper collection so that the future recipient can also take out all of the embellishments to die cut with. So they can use this background paper to die cut many different things. And this, this background paper is also from Christmas Sparkle collection. And I love all of these flowers. Oh my gosh, I love them so much. Oh, look how pretty they are. I loved using the little thickers in the middle part of the flower and I added some iridescent gems in the middle. I love these so much. I mean, flowers and bows, they can be used all the time. Here is another set of peppermint candies. Oh, this one kind of moved. So these are what I'm calling peppermint candies. Peppermint candy flowers, that's what I was gonna say. <laughs> so I utilized all of the peppermint candy bits that was in the Candy Cane Lane uh, ephemera pack. And I also utilized some snowflake stickers in the middle. So these, the, um, these gold bit here, that's actually a snowflake shape that I have layered in between the flower petals. And I love doing that. I love using the snowflake shape 
to layer my flowers. And that's the other side of the paper. Then, I have these. Now this, I really wasn't sure how I should um, present my rainbows, but I'm gonna take these out to show you. So this is a lovely uh, detailed large oval shape die that Aja from Cypress also gifted to me prior. And I love using that for my background packaging. Now this is a rainbow die that I recently bought off AliExpress as well. I love the size. I love the stitching, stitching details that it gives. And instead of adding the tassels to all of them, I added some different size hearts to the bottom. This is all using Candy Cane Lane paper. So, so love it. The Candy Cane Lane paper collection, you guys, also has like um, pinky tones in it as well. It's not just the green and the white and the mint and the dark colored forest green. It's got lots of pink as well. And all of the color combos, they just go so nicely together. The one thing I did different to this one I did also go ahead and buy um, the little tiny rolled roses die set from AliExpress and then I made those using the um, different pinky tone. This one is a candy cane lane paper. Then I also added this tiny bee embellishment down here between the flowers. So I really wasn't sure how to um, gift these, how to present these, so I just decided that I will put it in like this. And then the future recipient can use these rainbows to further decorate or use it for decorating the uh, front cover of the mini album and such. I just think this is so, so pretty, you guys. I will make sure to have all of the channels that I have mentioned down below in my description area. Make sure you guys go follow all of these wonderful ladies that share their um, creativity, the creative minds with all of us. And I just loved, loved making all of the embellishment. Oh, I just realized I forgot to share this. Oh my gosh, so I might have to move these again. So this, you guys, this is an embellishment box. Now this is not an ordinary embellishment box. I have utilized Ferrero Rocher container. You know those Ferrero Rocher um, that comes with so many different round ones and it has these as a base? Well, I took that base out and I measured, oh, I'll show you. See this here? This is the packet that I was um, using. This Ferrero Rocher one. Oh, I love this one, this dark chocolate one. Anyway, so I measured the paper base and then I cut out the paper and I scored following the score lines that are shown here. And that's how I did the um, top cover and the bottom cover. Let me see if I can show you the other side, that one there. And that's the front side. So this one has uh, the uh, base uh, paper from the Christmas Sparkle, but it's also got like uh, embellishment pieces that I've layered using uh, several different collection. This Christmas word piece comes from the Stemperia collection. I think it's from the Pink Christmas. And then I've also utilized the beautiful rosettes that were made for me. I also utilized the large candy cane that was also cut out for me. And I used this. I used two different clusters of the embellishments. And then I also added the shaker component that I made using one of the cut apart sheet. And then I put all of the clusters on top of the snow mesh tool. And I really, really love it. So inside I have put, oh my gosh, I, I had, you guys can tell that I really enjoyed this collection, right? So I have made um, these milk bottle shakers, which I've also shared on my Instagram stories, I think. No, I actually did my first real video. I wanted to make sure that I capture all of the colors and for me to just take a photo of it, it just wasn't doing enough. So I tried the real video um, function for the first time and it did really capture so many different components of these shakers that I made. And underneath them, are my embellishments. There's like 
this I use these um candy cane um bits and things and charms and I use like Christmas stickers anyway I'm not going to go into detail of all of the things that I put into this box because this video is all about showing you guys how to package up your beautifully handmade embellishment pieces thank you so much for being here everybody I look forward to reading your kind comments I so enjoy reading them. Thank you so much, everybody. Bye.